Hello, it's just been Christian Avery. Now, I could have easily spoken about loads of stuff about Pentecost and sources of authority and all that kind of thing, but that's all a bit abstract. And <clears throat> the reason I wanted to concentrate on Christian aid, partly, is because it's a very good example of how Christians will, can work with secular people and with people of other faiths in the world to a common aim. I want to talk about three aspects uh, of their work which they're focusing on this year in their publicity. One of them is their work in Bolivia. In Bolivia, they are encouraging, they are sorting out the property rights for land on land for indigenous people. This protects the people from rich landowners and prevents them from having the land grabbed off them. It also prevents deforestation and it enables them to grow their own food. In Kenya, they are texting weather predictions to farms. Mobile phones are very popular in sub-Saharan Africa and actually easily available to people. And their ability to know what kind of weather is going to occur in the future is going to help them with their crops and enable them to plant things more reliably and come up with things and make them more self-supporting and also obviously feed themselves. And finally, in Zimbabwe, uh, they are concentrating on sand dams uh, which are naturally filtered areas of water which can be pulled out and provide safe water for people which also obviously again can be used to grow crops and so forth. Now Christian Aid works with secular groups. Many of the staff are actually secular as well and they also work with other faiths. Um, they work with organizations in the countries concerned because they consider the local knowledge to be more valuable than just sending stuff out there. 85% of the money goes to the charitable work rather than on admin and their purposes, they see their purposes as to expose the scandal of poverty which because basically there is no need for poverty and there is no need for people to go without food. Uh, and also to root it out practically as in the examples that I've just given and also to challenge and change the structures that enable poverty to exist because poverty doesn't exist in the abstract it exists because people make people poor there is such a thing as artificial scarcity which i've talked about elsewhere but i don't want to get too political on this particular video they also uh, want to deal with systems that favor the rich an example of that will be the bolivian system as it happens i do own land in bolivia but that's another story the systems favouring the rich in Bolivia are that the rich can pay lawyers to, uh, defy, to to justify taking the land off the poor people, and that's what happens. So, as far as their values are concerned, and I'm unashamedly reading this from bits of paper, I'm afraid, but I don't know everything. Um, their values uh, consist of love and solidarity with the people. Dignity and respect, you have to approach these people humbly and remember, obviously they are human beings just as we are and they are no less important or no no less worthy of respect or anything than we are and they are just us basically who've been born in a different country and that's what it comes down to uh, also justice and equality uh, cooperation, cooperation and partnership they will work with private sector groups also with other organizations they work with whoever they believe will achieve their aims and also accountability and stewardship. Their decision making is intended to be transparent and everything, all the sort of movement of money and uh, resources in their organisation is available for anybody to have a look at, basically. So, Christian Aid, I think, are a good organisation and I think that you can support it whether or not you're Christian, religious, atheist, irreligious, whatever you are provided you agree with its aims and I think actually its aims are very straightforward and very easy to support. There is basically no need for poverty or starvation or uh, diseases that are easily prevented to exist in the world and why do we tolerate it? And the fact that they happen to call themselves Christian Aid is an attempt to link Christianity with those positive values but if you're alienated by that try to look past the name and see it as a third world charitable organisation that is worth supporting because it is worth supporting it doesn't matter what you believe provided you share those values of you know wanting to get rid of poverty um, just support it because it's good okay now if you like this video please rate comment subscribe and share if you dislike it please tell me why so I can improve and I'll see you tomorrow